Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We've been out here digging for, well, I'd say two hours. Probably. Probably yeah. something like that. Uh, been pulling a whole lot of broken stuff out. First uh, interesting find was this big uh, ink, cobalt ink. It's pretty clean. And then uh, beside it, uh, another Martinsville. Uh, beautiful embossing and everything, but you know, it's kind of missing the other half. So that's awesome. But keeping that, uh, wish that was obviously a little bit more intact. But I am pretty excited what I got back here. It's a jar I have never seen before. And it's got a lot of embossing on the bottom of it, the base. I'll pull it out. I have no idea. I haven't read it. What? That is so cool. It says... Curves? Or, I suck at reading. Here, let me see it. Really good embossing. Made... Uh, wide mouth... It's a wide mouth mason. Uh, Self-sealing. What's it say right there? I'm pretty sure that says Kurt. Yeah, Kirk. Kurt. Kurt? Yeah, it is Kurt. Yeah, K E, then the R. Or just Kerr? Kurt. That's two R's. That's two R's, yeah. Kerr. That's weird. And look at that on the bottom right there. That's crazy. There's a bunch of them boss. Ooh! Just hit it on that piece of brick. It didn't break it. Thank God. Try to clean it. It says something. Yeah, uh, Kerr Glass Manufacturing Co. Patented April the second, or patented August. Yeah, August thirty first, nineteen fifteen. Uh, something Springs, uh, Oklahoma, I think, right there. That is cool. That is definitely going in my collection. I'm really excited that that's whole. I'm a little bit more excited that that's whole more than that Martinsville, because I already have one, but that is really cool. I've never seen a, uh, that type of brand of Mason. Leave a comment down in the video if you know anything about this jar. I'll be back for anything else. Well, guys, not even like five minutes after I pulled that jar out, uh, pulled out this Polk Smoke, or Best Trade. Uh, this is the first intact milk out of here. I pulled a half pint out of here before, and uh, it had a little bit of a nick out of the back, but this is our first intact milk out of this dump i saw the bottom of it the base of it like that thought it was a jar took uh careless procedures to get it out and uh, it was a milk so i'm actually pretty stoked about that get back to you when i find something else guys i can't even go a minute without getting anything like here this amber bottle pops out and i think it's you know junk because you pull a lot of clear or not clear uh unembossed amber bottles i have no idea what the heck that says there's something embossed on the bottom so a little bit more information oh what do we got what do we got incorporated um i have no idea <laughs> Clean it off a little bit here. Lysol. Oh, that's cool. It's a Lysol. So that's what that says is Lysol. That is cool. So that was a type of Lysol back then. That is really cool. I'm actually very happy about that. Wow, it is pan and pan out quite well. That's awesome. Made in the USA. That is so cool. I'm very happy about that. I've never seen a Lysol bottle like that before. Oh, get back to you. 
Well guys, uh, day two out here digging. Beautiful day. It's about 70 degrees out here, cloudy. Uh, and uh, yeah, I cut myself up pretty good. But I uh, got a little too excited here. I got something awesome in the hole. Uh, to the right of this thing that I got was uh, ketchup. I was pretty upset about that, so I started digging, trying to get that out, and I got something good. Look at that, guys. It's uh, got an R right here, and it says something, something brewing right there. Let's see if I can dig it out live here. Uh, this is pretty exciting. Try to keep the camera on it. It's kind of hard with this freaking milk right there. Or milk, um. Ketchup. Oh, it is a milk. How about that, guys? Please be local. Please be local. Longwood Dairy. P.O. Box 230 or 231, uh, Covington, Kentucky. Wow, one pint. That is awesome. Not local, but you know what? That is my first. That is my first ever Circle Slug Plate Dairy. One pint. That is awesome. I will take that any day. <laughs> Um, mold line stops about right there, so that could be around 1910 maybe, maybe not, but I don't care dude, that, that is awesome, get back to you when I find something else. I haven't been here even 10 minutes and it's already panning out, look at this guys, I shouldn't even turned off the camera. That is a hobble skirt, and then right down here, I got a half pint, or half one pint, whatever you say, milk. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this Coke. Oh my gosh, guys, if this is a whole 1915, this is gonna be my second out of the dump. Oh, it looks whole. It is whole. And guess what, guys? It is a 1915 whole hobble shirt. Oh my gosh. That is that is exciting for me. And from Bloomington, Indiana. That is a scarce find right there. Those are hard to find. Oh my gosh, guys. And it is in perfect condition. 1915 right there. I'm going to go ahead and put it back down the hole. So it doesn't ping on me because this root glass is uh, quite fragile. So I'll put it right, right over there. Right down there. That's That'll be uh, my decompression area. Because the glass, so depending on what type of glass or that the ball is made with, if you pull them out of the hole too quick, they will ping on you. And that is a good bottle, so we don't want that to ping. So... Uh, I still haven't even got that ketchup out to the right because, I mean, this this area, guys, is just loaded with good glass. I'm going to see if I can get this uh, milk out of here for you. Oh, it's not a milk. It's something else. It looks like it was just a cup or a, or a jar or something. Yeah, it probably was. I saw that bottom, I thought it was a milk. But you know what? I'm okay. I don't care. We just, we're already on a good run. We got a dairy, one pint, and a 1915 hobble skirt. Coke. I don't care. I don't care at all. That is so awesome. Be back to you when I find something else. Guys, this has got to be my best digging in a while. It these days rarely come. 
Um, you know, besides the 1915 Coke milk and stuff. So I had a little bit of a cave in right here, trying to get back to the jar back there. So I had to cave it in to create more room. Some came out of the cave in, made that flat surface right there. Uh, got down here in the creek, washing it off. I have not found one of these in a while, especially in this good of a condition. Look at that, guys. It's a freaking porcelain sign. Sadly, it's half gone. It's not fall here. You know what? I don't care. It wasn't from me breaking or anything, but I think it would have said Mill, Miller, something. M I L L, and then gears, and then something else, a broken hat. But that's still going to be quite nice. I might uh, have to make two trips because I don't think I'm going to be able to carry that and the shovels, but that is, that's cool. That is really cool. Even though it's half a sign, it's still a big one. That still would have been oof, probably about a four to five foot long sign. I mean, you're talking that's about half of it, and there's my foot to compare it. But yeah, we're uh, we're doing good today. Today is a really good day. Get back to you when I find something else. Oh, sorry for the terrible camera work here, but I. Th think man, focus phone's being a little bit weird today all right i think i have an early catch up here i don't know it says heinz co it's aqua <sighs> yeah it's a catch up yep <sighs> gosh dang it it looked aqua from down there in the hole. Sometimes things, uh, they'll do that to you. But I do believe we don't pull a whole lot of ketchups out that says Heinz go on the bottom. I don't know. We really don't pay attention to them because you know what? They're just ketchups and we chuck them and it breaks. <laughs> Before that, I pulled out uh, a Dr. WB Coldwell over there. Didn't record it because we pull out so many of those it's ridiculous but uh get back to you when i find something else well guys uh it's it's been a while since i really found any bottles significant of showing all this collapsed i collapsed the top layer there i've been doing some digging so haven't been able to record much about an hour ago i didn't record this either i pulled out this pretty interesting it was uh we're in the same area of that porcelain sign but i think that is a old car steering wheel probably from the 20s or 30s maybe a little newer maybe world war ii era but that's still pretty cool uh fine so far i have this piece of metal over here to stop this uh coke from pinging up on me it's doing good it's only pinging up in a couple spots around the heel but not too bad the milk's doing all right uh i got this over here I'm not going to keep that, but keep that on there. But um, I do have a med that I have not seen yet. And I was getting a little gung high with the uh, shovel down here. I'll turn on my headlamp here. Oh, wait, it was on. Um, look at that. I hit it with the shovel. Somehow did not break it. It says, Dr. King's new discovery for coughs and colds. That's a pretty common one, but you know what? I don't care. It's something different. And you know what? When you see something different, it's nice. Because I saw that lip and I was like, here we go again. Another Dr. W.B. Caldwell. But uh, that is really cool. I like that. That is definitely going home with me uh, today. We're, we're going strong here. It's really good today honestly it really has getting down this wet area it's really soupy down there 
But hopefully I can pull out another soda. If I can, that will be very exciting, and uh, I'd be happy for the day. But uh, we will get back to you when I find something else. Well, guys, this is the end of the video. Uh, this is halfway through the cleaning process. I'm soaking them in some chemicals that 1915 hobble skirt came out amazing. The milk's good. These are the other finds in the past couple of days. The Lysol sauce bottle, the other uh, Polk's best, the cobalt ink. Oh, and the uh, Dr. King's new discovery. It was a really good dig, a really great dig in between the 1915 hobble skirt, the uh, Melks, the Ahmed I've never dug before, Lysol, the big wide mouth mason jar back there. It was a great, great dig. Last few days were awesome. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like and a comment and please consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.